Hi, my name is Megan Winter, and I'm the author of All Politics is Local, Why Progressives Must Fight for the States. My book is about how the conservative movement and Republicans have deliberately chosen to build power on the state level, whereas Democrats and progressives have largely failed to build power on the state level. My book looks at how that happened, why that matters, and what Democrats and progressives can do to turn things around. There are a number of things that really stood out to me when I was doing this reporting. One of the primary things that I think is most important is the underlying reasons why structural power in the states matter so much and how funders on the right and the left are working with different principles and different incentives and how that creates a large um, power imbalance. Funders on the left or democratic strategists tend to focus on states with an outsized importance to national federal elections. Whereas the right, they really focus on these places that seem so boring and they seem so unimportant like um, to a person who lives in a place like New York or San Francisco or DC, somewhere like a hearing room in Little Rock, Arkansas, or a hearing room in Jefferson City, Missouri. But those are the places where long term over time, if you have control and you whittle away, you can take national power. So the conservative movement has really used this long term, unglamorous whittle away strategy, whereas the left and this is very reductive, but they focus much more on whatever shiny spectacle is happening in, in the major cities and in national politics, and that has not worked. The way to build long-term power is to make sure that people are involved on the local level for the long term. Hachette.